Hi, today I'm going to show you how to step by step hatch your own chicks in the incubator. And we are using the Little Giant Deluxe as our incubator. When selecting eggs from your chickens, it's a good idea to watch your chickens and see which chickens are favored by the rooster. That will most likely be fertilized eggs. Here's a way you can tell your chickens are favored by the rooster. So you can see the feathers run smoothly here, but then when they get down to right about here, you can see this fluff right here. And that's a way to tell if your chickens are favored by the rooster. Here's two eggs. One is sort of dirty and the other is clean. You definitely want to go for the more clean eggs. Even though you can wash them, it's a higher risk that you're not going to get a chick out of that egg. This is the Little Giant Deluxe. As you can see, I'm keeping it on a shelf in our laundry room. This is an ideal place for it because the temperature stays pretty much the same and there are no drafts. So here is what the top looks like. It comes off. The buttons are right here to control it. And now I'm going to plug it in. So when you plug it in, you should hear a motor start up. That is the heat. That is the heating motor that is right here. This thing right here is part of it, and this just gently sets on the eggs right about where the motor is. So here are your control buttons. This one says set up and down. Hold it down until you see the little number flashing. Generally about four or five seconds. Then move the control up or down to just the temperature. After the temperature is just right, a little sign that says temp OK will pop up. There will be a little chick. That means your incubator is ready for incubating. Your humidity is right up here. The humidity should not fall under 25 or be above 60 for the first three days. The rest of the remaining days it should be right around that number. To adjust the humidity, if the humidity is too low, you simply add water to the little trough in the bottom of the incubator. After this has been sitting a while, you'll see a little sign pop up that will say temp OK. That will mean that your incubator is ready to be incubated. As you can see, my incubator just got up to temperature right at 99.1. This means it is right there um, at the temperature you should incubate your eggs at. It doesn't have to be exactly odd, but it should be really close. I am doing 13 eggs, and if you are wondering, this is the canal. It goes from here, it stops here, and then there's more here. So then you can fill all of these depending on how much you need to raise your humidity. I am, if you are wondering, if you are wondering, I am not using the automatic egg turner because I do not know if it works properly and I rather turn the eggs myself. The eggs have to be turned two to three times a day at a minimum. Four to five times is best. Five is even better. As you can see, I have marked an X on one side of all of the eggs, and an O on the other side. Therefore, when turning, you know what you have turned. So you can turn it to an O, and back to an X, and so forth. I've closed my incubator and I'm going to let it reach back up to temperature because opening it can also bring down the temperature. If you notice here there's a small notch going inside the incubator. This is for if you have the automatic egg turner. The cord will need to go out. Today is the seventh day and we are candling these eggs. You should candle your eggs around seven to ten days. We decided to do it a little bit early because we're kind of impatient. We have 14 chicken eggs. We are keeping them at the back because that's where the heater is and they get the most heat there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to have two sides. I'm going to have one not fertilized eggs and one fertilized eggs or 
um, one side that um, around the end there's a red line which you don't want to see that's a blood ring that means the baby died and the blood is now exposed you can see it's a ring all the way around the middle so you will want to take those eggs out and only leave the eggs that have a black dot and veins going around them Oh boy. <laughs> so this egg right here There's the baby. It's moving. Oh, my. <gasps> oh, how right cool. There. Get all the kids in here. Yes. Okay, so. Okay, you guys, can you see? This is oh, egg there it is. <gasps> right there. That, that is fertilized. You can see that's its eye, that big one. That is amazing. Oh, but you can't see it. Now you can. It's there, moving. that black dot is an eye. Don't can you see it, guys? <laughs> can you see it. that? Is that That's another dark This is buttercup's egg. Aww. So this one is I not fertilized. Nope. You can see there's nothing, nothing there. There's no veins. There's no dots. It's just all it's just an egg. hollow. So that's not fertilized. Okay. That one will be disposed. Sorry, and you can just throw them away because I'm they are not sad. edible. Right. That's fertilized. Yeah. Yay! See, so many so are that's fertilized. their eye right there. Yes, I see, see that so clearly. I hope they're wow. blue eyes. And and it's you probably wiggling see. like, get that light away from me. <laughs> we candled them. I'm going to tell Do you so remember far. when we one saw baby not. Lydia with the ultrasound? She oh, wiggled a lot. Yes. Okay, so I this one see. doesn't look promising. So Wait, I saw darkness. I was like not there, but I don't see Come on, Bobby. any veins. No. No, that's just the shadow. So they said eggs that are speckled like this, like you can see mm -hmm. they're not clear, um, it's going to have a harder chance of the baby because it's not a healthy egg. Hmm, interesting. So this yeah, one there's is, a shadow. There's definitely this, shadow, but no, no defined. I think that might be, that could either be the egg or this could be a dead baby. Do you want to give it another couple of days to look at it? No. Wait, I, I, I see a red line right there. That could be. It's the, faint, but I see right there a the red. The death ring. Oh. So there we go. Okay. So far, we have a lot. We only have two that aren't fertilized. This one. Oh, that baby's moving. Oh, wow. That's moving a lot. We have ten fertilized eggs. Them, that's wonderful. So I'm going to put them Yay. back. So I've been keeping a steady temperature for 18 days. And today, I am going to... Um, leave the eggs set, um, it's called lockdown, where you don't touch the eggs for the last three days. You don't turn them, you don't open it. So what I'm doing right now is I'm spacing the eggs out. That way when they hatch, they're not going to be all on top of each other and they're going to have a little room to wiggle. So if you have a lot of eggs, it doesn't have to be that spaced out, depending on um, how many eggs you do. All the rest of the days, she kept them huddled in a bunch together, just like you saw. And then, yeah, I kept them under the heater because it's the warmest. And mm -hmm. then I'm just and then, gonna set this on top. And now, as you can see, my humidity is 40, no, it's, What's my humidity? Right now my humidity is 43. So I want it to get around 70, 75. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some water. So adding the water increases the humidity yep. level. So I'm going to add the water in the tunnels. And I'm going to squirt a lot. And then um, to tell how high it is, I'm going to squirt a bunch. And then I'm going to let it sit for a little bit come back and see if I need to add more um, water. Okay, so after 30 minutes, what was the humidity level? It was 57. It 57. went from 43 to 57. So okay. I'm adding about as much water as I can, which completely fills these trenches up. Now I do have a little space to put more in. Someone suggested if this um, incubator is yours, um, putting blue dye in so the you water, can see the water so level. you can see the water level. Right. It's not our incubator, so we didn't want to do that. We borrowed it from someone. And it will dye your incubator. Right. Okay, we'll see how that goes. So today is the last day, and we have noticed there are about four 
eggs cracked right now. One, there is peeping coming out of it. Um, yesterday, actually, we noticed there was some cracked eggs. So now, today, we're expecting a few babies. It can take, they can hatch a day before or a day after. It's not really that accurate, but I'm going to real quick. Real fast, wipe these so you can actually see because I don't want to leave this open because it's really important to keep the heat for them. So you can see there's one, two. This is the one that hatched open first. Hold on, I'm gonna move and that. And it's been. Thing. Peeping a lot. How many hours? Maybe 12 hours since we first saw the little pet. Over that. It was yesterday morning we saw a little pet. Mm -hmm. You're right. It's been and a long 24. time. Um, hold on. I'm going to move this real quick. I... Oh, look at that. Look There's at five. There's... What is your, um, your humidity and temperature these days? Humidity is between 70 and 80. Sorry, it's fucking. It's this one that's making the racket right back there. Shaking. Oh my word, that's so sweet. It's shaking the egg. Um, between 70 and 80, so right now it's 77, he, and temperature is going to be about the same oh, every time. How exciting. Yep, so I'm just going to let it sit and check on it a little bit. Oh, the black one's so cute. The black one. This is my chicken. Sorry, chicken. Oh, <laughs> I opened it too much. Ooh, it's stinky. Okay. <laughs> That's their poop. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All animals poop. So right now, um, we are about to transport these babies into our bathroom, which is the safest place in the house. Um, we are going to be putting them in this little tote with this towel, and I'm going to cover it so that they feel kind of safe. Oh, it's so cute. So there's one baby. Oh, there's two babies. Oh, it has black and white. There's one yellow one. Oh, that looks like I like, I like, um. And there's two nice I like the black shit. Bye, Bye. Bye. So what I'm doing is I'm grabbing a chick, I'm dipping its beak in water until it drinks their drink, and then dipping it in food and setting it down. Oh, those feathers are so good. The water. So do this process to all your chicks. Right now we have a little mason jar lid full of water. I put marbles in it so that they wouldn't drown. Just enough so they can drink, but not enough so they can get in it. And right now I sprinkled food all around because they um we need to get used to eating where the, food where the food goes. They'll get used to walking around. But, um, they're like, you can see some of them are older than others. Oh, that one tried to eat. Some of them can't. So, I'm using paper towels instead of shavings because, um, you want to get them established to eating before you put the shavings in or else they might try to eat that. And then they have this really hot light bulb. Some people use um, red light. a red light, which is a little, like, it's yeah. hot and it's, but it's, but not, it's not bright. Light. Yeah. We thought about getting one and we might get one, but for now we're just going to 